what we're calling for basically is for people to think outside the box. <laughs> Researchers at the University of Utah are studying new, quicker ways to get people evacuated during wildfires. Fox 13 Sydney Glenn spoke with one of the lead researchers about why western states such as Utah need to change things. Professor Tom Kova says we are seeing wildfires like never before, growing larger and moving faster, so people need to find quicker ways to evacuate. Over the whole experience, we learned that miracles happen in 2018, Adrian Walker, along with about 6,000 others, were evacuated during the Bald Mountain and Pole Creek fires in central Utah. More than 120,000 acres burned. Knowing that every night the fires were descending down towards the city and not knowing if it would be there in the morning. Utah is bracing for what could be an intense fire season, something Tonkova with the University of Utah says we are seeing more of in the West. We have uh, unprecedented fires all over the place. Five of the six largest wildfires on record burned in 2020 in California. Kova says climate change is causing wildfires to become more unpredictable, so people need to get prepared. Don't base your planning on what's happened in the past when all these fires that are happening have never happened before. The new research paper from the University of Utah shows minimalizing losses during dire scenarios requires thinking outside the box. Exits in different directions, exits with sufficient capacity, low subscription rates to reverse 911 systems or cell phones that don't work in, in canyon areas. Uh, we can have real problems reaching people. Sergeant Spencer Cannon with the Utah County Sheriff's Office says evacuations can take time. If there's a lot of homes in the area, one of the challenges can simply be having enough people to do it quickly. Kova suggests emergency management planners and people considering adding temporary areas of refuge in case evacuations can't happen fast enough, possibly adding fire shelters or bunkers and even people keeping fire suits in their garages, plus relying on each other. If your plan is that each community, each household will leave on its own, uh, you're missing a big part of how much communities help each other. Kova says this change in thinking may just save lives and homes like back in 2018. Remarkable people came and the fire crews were up here and doing their jobs and it it was a miraculous experience. Professor Kova says some of the limitations to this type of out of the box thinking is getting to those vulnerable populations and Sergeant Spencer Cannon says it can be difficult to evacuate people when they don't want to go. That makes saving lives very hard. In Utah County, Sydney Glenn, Fox 13 News, Utah. It's all about being prepared. Still, it is too early to know how well any of these ideas could potentially work, but a study of Australian wildfire deaths found 32% happened during late evacuation.